Let's talk about this four-year-old whose mom turned to ChatGPT to make a diagnosis that over 17 doctors missed. Alex's mom noticed that something was wrong when she bought a bounce house for her two young kids during the COVID pandemic. He began to complain of pain and many other symptoms that led her to see a bunch of different doctors. He had complaints of back pain, grinding of his teeth, and he even began to drag his leg. He started complaining of migraines and his mom noticed that he was snoring at night, so he was diagnosed with sleep apnea. He was seen by neurologists, physical therapists, orthopedics, dentists, orthodontists, all which had a variety of different diagnoses, none of which were correct. Over three years, Alex saw over 17 different doctors and had no diagnosis, so his mom turned to ChatGPT. Artificial intelligence diagnosed him with tethered cord syndrome. She then took him to a neurosurgeon where the diagnosis was made. So what is tethered cord syndrome? It's a type of spina bifida in which I talked about in this week's case study. This month is Spina Bifida Awareness Month. Tethered cord syndrome can be a manifestation of spina bifida occulta. This is when during development and during growth, the spinal cord doesn't rise to its normal position, which is around T12 to L1. Cases of tethered cord, there is something that prevents the spinal cord from rising to normal position and the spinal cord gets stretched. As the child grows, the spinal cord will get stretched more and more and that can lead to nerve-related pain and all of these symptoms mentioned above. So how did all these symptoms get missed by all these different doctors? Tethered cord syndrome is a relatively rare diagnosis that can present with a multitude of different symptoms. And in Alex's case, each subspecialist focused on their area and didn't put the whole picture together. Thankfully, this mom and Alex got the answers that they needed and underwent a tethered cord release. During the surgery, a neurosurgeon can go in and release the tethering of the spinal cord so it can ascend to its normal level. Alex had a surgery a few weeks ago and is recovering. His mom is using her experience to share her story so others can learn about tethered cord syndrome. I'm happy for Alex that he's on his way to recovery. So what do you guys think about ChatGPT and making medical diagnosis? Leave your comment in the comment section.